Good morning, students. Today' topic, which we are going to discuss, is pallor and respiratory system. So, first of all, I would like to give you an introduction about what is pallor and what is anemia. Are they both same or are they both different? Pallor, anemia. Pallor is a clinical sign, whereas anemia is a laboratory diagnosis. So, if you are seeing the patient, okay, and he is looking pale, means it is pallor. But it does not require that the patient is pale just because of his low hemoglobin. Are you understanding? Anemia means the patient is having a low hemoglobin. Normal level of hemoglobin is 14 to 18 in males and 12 to 16 in females. So if the patient is having a low hemoglobin, it is called as anemia. But if the patient is pale means it is just a clinical sign, not a laboratory diagnosis. First, I want to give this introduction. And just for the UG students, what are the sites we see paler? We'll see in the lower palpable conjunctiva, we see in the nail beds, okay? We see in the palms and we see in the soles, okay? So these are the areas where we see the paler. But my topic, as a pulmonologist point of view, what I want to say is paler and respiratory system. So what are the respiratory diseases you will suspect when the patient is having an paler? Number one, what we have to suspect if the patient is having an Pallor. Definitely we have to think about the chronic lung diseases. You would have know that iron deficiency anemia causes in pathology robins, they would have given three things. Number one is uh, iron deficiency, the microcytic hyperchromic differential diagnosis. Iron deficiency anemia. Number two, thalassemia. Number three, anemia of chronic diseases and lead poisoning. So, anemia of chronic diseases, they are all microcytic hypochromic anemias. So, that and all we have to think of. So, chronic diseases, what are the chronic lung diseases which can present you with anemia? Number one is tuberculosis tuberculosis patients will be presenting to with the pallor so please think of tb number one number two lung cancers malignancy okay we all know malignancy cancer cachexia they reduce the they take the entire blood so they cause an anemia okay so malignancy can present to you with the pallor okay so number two number three other chronic lung diseases long-standing ild long-standing bronchiectasis can also present with pallor. But very importantly, please think of tuberculosis, please think of lung cancers, and some cases where you will be having a chronic hemoptysis. Small volume hemoptysis for a long time can also lead to pallor because of blood loss, but it is very rare. But one TB and malignancy is very important. One important thing. Examiner will be favorite for this question. What about COPD? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Does that cause anemia or something else? COPD patients, generally, they will be having polycythemia. That is increased amount of hemoglobin, more than 18 grams, okay, polycythemia. Why the COPD patients are having polycythemia? Again, very favorite question for examiner. COPD patients, generally, they have a long-term hypoxia. Because of that hypoxia, what is happening? In the kidney, the erythropoietin is stimulated. Okay, so because of hypoxia, EPO is stimulated. This erythropoietin is going and increasing the amount of hemoglobin. So they present with polycythemia. But not in all cases, definitely there will be polycythemia. If it is a long-standing hypoxia, definitely polycythemia. Sometimes anemia is also associated with the COPD. Okay, so that is a research study, okay, which is going on. Anemia and COPD is also associated, but most commonly polycythemia. Okay, so paler and RS, we are coming to the last uh, three things. Number one, TB. Number two, malignancy. Number three, some chronic lung diseases and long-standing hemoptysis. Okay? Thank you.